everybody, Fat here, and welcome to Let's Play Renowned Explorers International Society. This is a game from Abbey Games. This is the other team at Abbey Games. They also made the game Reyes quite a few years, well, but I don't remember. Is it a couple years ago, I think? It was a really cute little game, and I liked it. So I think I'm going to like this, too. Basically, you play as a group of renowned explorers. Select a game mode here. Oh, discovery mode. You'll be able to retry whenever you lose, save and load, and reach new locations faster. And can't reload previous situations. You lose, it's game over. Game automatically. Okay, so this is roguelike, kind of roguelike slash hardcore mode. This is regular mode. I'm going to play in the regular discovery mode for now. Oh, wow. There are actually a lot of difficulty settings. Let's, well... Apparently, original and classic is hard. I have not played this game at all before, but let's go with classic mode anyway. I'm not going to cheat. And then we'll go on and select our crew. So, we select a captain, which gives us a unique ability. You can unlock more by playing the game. That's good to know. And then we get other crew members. Okay. So, we are a group who are trying to become renowned explorers in the international society. Let's see who we have to choose from. Okay. So we can't, we only have four to choose from. Anna Proskuryakova, I think I pronounced that right. Uh, Russia, from Russia, I should say. Uh, complete research paper will give you study tokens. i not entirely sure what all this means. She is a balanced scientist, very high speech defense, no real weaknesses. The combat system in this game is really, really interesting. And I can't wait to show that to you guys. Capable of doing great damage in an area. Does best in aggressive or devious teams. Okay, nice to know. Let's see what else we can choose from. This is Harry Walker. I can pronounce that British name. Um, United Kingdom, you know. Uh, Harry, a street urchin who survived on the streets by pickpocketing. Now he's a cunning and charming leader. Glass cannon, with high speed, high attack, but barely no defenses. I might be able to work with that. Go devious or aggressive with Charles and Bia. Can focus to make the next move count double for powerful combos. That sounds awesome. He does well in any crew as long as there's someone with high defenses to protect him. Good to know. Victor Signac from France. He is a decorated military captain. Words and skills motivate friends and foes to follow him. Wants to impress with rare finds. He's a balanced fighter with high armor. No real weaknesses. Ooh, that always sounds good. He is supportive in a supportive addition to any aggressive or friendly crew. So he would go good with Philip and Kwame. Interesting. And a speaker, Yvonne Lefebvre. I think I pronounced that close. I don't know. She's from Canada. Montreal's cruel mistress. Assertive, intelligent, center of attention. Wants to see if he can trample the world under her boots. Wow. Balanced speaker, high speech, and good defenses. Does exceptionally well in devious crews, but a balanced addition to most teams. Kiwi Agatha for a devious friendly team. So she can give one campaign token whenever you encounter uh, resolve encounters deviously. More gold from encounters. I like that. And Walker, double the gold from treasure hunts. Ooh, I like that. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Harry. Harry Walker. And then we select two crew members to go with him. The, the recommended ones were Charles and Bia. Uh, let's see. Bia Hecton fought for Greek independence. She's a terrifying mercenary. That sounds good. She's Greek, obviously. And she is a glass cannon fighter. Good speech and attack, but feeble defense. Do I want two people with really bad defenses? I mean, it's recommended to go with Charles and Harry, but I don't, I don't really like the sound of that. That doesn't sound like it's helpful. They said we should have a fighter, so let's see the other fighters that we have here. Ivan Dashkov from Russia. Incredibly strong, not talented with words. Really just wants to be part of a group of friends. I like him. I like this guy already. Brawler with amazing attack and armor, but lacking speech and speech defense. So he's good in aggressive crews. I might take him. I want to go with a balanced crew to start us off, so I might take him with us. Of course, we've got Dolores Garcia from Mexico. Won many tournaments, kept her identity behind a mask. In search of new things to punch. Great defensive fighter. Great armor and decent offenses. I might take her. With either hitting or shouting, she can keep opponents busy. Does well in aggressive and devious crews. I think I'm going to go with her. She's a quick thinker and an athlete. Which I didn't check. Harry Walker is 
a very good rogue, apparently. Yeah, I'm going to go with Dolores. And then we need a speaker. Charles, I think, was the recommended one. Yes, Charles Templeton. Also from the United Kingdom. Ex-sailor and ex-butler from Manchester. Who wants to rub elbows with the Queen? Knows how to throw a punch and take an insult. I like the sound of him. Great defensive speaker. Great defenses. Overall, good offense. Oh, that's perfect for Harry. Because he can just stay in the back and these two can defend him. Okay, force enemies to attack him with a group insult. Does especially well on Devious Crews. He's a diplomat and a survivalist. I like this team. I'm going to go with this this team here. Uh, okay, the icon size, how well they are suited for a given attitude. So they're not very awesome with friendliness, but they're very good on Devious, which relies on insult and undermining their self-confidence, and of course, aggressiveness. Okay, let's try this team. I like this. To our adventure! Yeah, we don't look silly at all. Harry, you got a little bit of tumbler nose going on there, but I'm okay with that. Try to use all your supplies on an expedition. Good to know. This is it. You just got your renowned Explorers International Society membership. Harry wants to make a big entrance and goes for an elusive treasure. A Viking ship. Yes, that is awesome. Okay, there is a boat belonging to the famous explorer Leif Erikson somewhere on this forgotten island. Well, let's find out what's important to know. If this is your first time playing, you might want to familiarize yourself with some key concepts before adventuring. A local Highlander volunteers to help if you want. Let's learn about the expedition economy. During expeditions, you must remember to collect treasures. Gold to pay for stuff. Status to attract an entourage. And research to be spent on research. Okay. Might not find a need for these resources during some expeditions, but once you start preparing for the following expeditions, they'll be indispensable. Okay, look for those. Got it. Keep the expedition on track. Traveling and consume supplies. If you run out of them, misfortune will befall your crew. Okay. Mind your resolve. You lose resolve by failing tests or being defeated in encounters. If your resolve ever drops to zero, your expedition is over and you'll never become a famous explorer. Damn. That's some heavy words. So, yeah. Keep an eye on supplies and resolve. You'll get the chance to regain some while out there. Okay, good to know. Find treasure to complete the expedition. Get gold status and research, and don't run out of resolve and supplies. Let's go. If this is your first time playing. Yeah, we might want to let's learn about encounters. During your travels, you'll be resolving many different situations with encounters. In this encounter scenario, you may familiarize yourself with the basic rules. Okay. Highlanders have volunteered to participate. Learn the basics of an encounter. Let's do that. Yeah. Come on. We got uh, two Highlanders. Follow the tutorial just instructions. By resolving this encounter with this as your dominant attitude, you will gain the following rewards. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Okay. But apparently in later battles, different types of finishing the encounter will give us different rewards. Let's follow the tutorial. Select different participants by clicking on them with the left mouse button. Oh my god, so complicated. Okay, Harry. Well, there's Harry, there's Dolores. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Now we can move them toward the opponents. Right click over the walkable tiles to get them to move forward. Okay, Harry has a lot of movement points. Dolores and T Charles have the same amount. Let's get these guys moving. Choose where to move. Left mouse button to cancel the movement. Okay, now we move everyone else. And, of course, we'll keep Harry kind of close to the back-ish. We have exhausted all of our moves. We can now end the turn. Okay, boom. And it's their turn. Oh my god, they're moving closer. Oh my goodness! Oh, you stabbed me! You jerk! We gotta do something about that. Now your crew member... Now move your crew closer to them, and then we can use our abilities. I think we're close enough to use some. There's a broken thing right there that shows us all kinds of stats. That's good to know. Alright, let's see. Dolores, you've got to be close enough to use something. So you have a regular punch, or an attack, I should say. Let's move our uh, camera here does 100% of your attack power, which is this right here. So 25 damage, 100% chance to hit. Can't use anything else. So let's go ahead and punch this guy. And then we can preview the effects here. So I don't know what that does to his mood. It moves it down this way. So from what I understand, the spirit is your HP, and this is like your general mood. Her mood is cranky. It's negative, but there's no additional effects to it. So I think this is going to make him cranky too. Yeah, I punch him in the face! Excellent. We just dealt damage to their spirit. Don't worry. During regular play, you can overcome unfortunate dispositions through other means than just violence. For now, let, let's defeat them by breaking down their spirits. Okay. Well, 
I believe Charles can go ahead and also punch this guy in the face. Kabushke! Yeah! Excellent. Very well done. Alright, and Harry, you actually have a ranged attack. 30 damage, wow. You're sh well, I think it's a gunshot, that's why. But his gunshot is more powerful than her punch. I guess that makes sense, actually. I don't know why I'm surprised by that. Oh my god, a gun is stronger than punching someone? How shocking. Okay, that was an aggressive victory. Good stuff. Moods during encounters. Let's go ahead and learn about that. Encounters may be resolved in different ways. Let's learn about the moods. Alright, going ahead. Attitude matters. Depending on how you resolve it, you may gain different uh, rewards, I think that was. Nothing for the tutorials, of course. The mood during an encounter has a strong influence over its participants. In this encounter, you'll be taught how choosing the behavior of your crew affects the mood and subsequently your opponents. Most direct way to influence is by using your abilities. That makes sense. Now, let's go ahead and see our abilities. Of course, everyone has a regular attack. What else do you have, Harry? You have Enrage, which is 100% of your speech power and can enrage them. If they're in a negative mood, giving them less armor. His speech power is 31. Wow, he really is a glass cannon. Look at this. No armor, very little speech defense. Good to know. Go two tiles. So his gun is actually much farther. Impress. 100% of your speech. It impresses them if they're in a positive mood, reducing their speech defense. That's good to know. And it can heal 25% of an ally's spirit. That's awesome. Dolores, what do you have? Your regular attack. Terrify. Terrifies them if they're in a negative mood, giving them minus 25 attack. Let me read this real quick. You influence the mood through attitudes and abilities. Note how the first ability is always aggressive, second one is devious, and the third one is friendly. Oh, I actually did not notice that until now. And then this is going to be try to encourage. It's only close range, 80% of speech, whereas the terrify is 100%. And only 80% chance to hit, too. Makes them confident, giving them a 25% extra attack. That's something good to know. And it can heal by 20%. Finally, Charles, you have your punch. You have terrify. Okay, that's the same as Dolores. And try to impress. That's only 75%, but it has extra range. Okay. Good to know. And it impresses them. And they all have the ability to revive crew members, too. Okay, that's all good to know. Attitude of opponents are, st are struck with determine how they regard you. Try lowering an opponent's spirit to see what happens. All right. Let's go ahead. Who has the longest range on their friendly moves? I guess Harry does, so let's move him over and try to impress this guy. Hey, buddy! I'm the best! Yeah, you know that's awesome! Volunteer is impressed with you and doesn't, I guess that's wish to fight. In the top center of the screen, the mood just changed. It's pleasant. Everyone's nice. Cool. Physical attacks have 50% additional power. It's, it's the backstab ability, of course. Oh, we see a little rock, paper, scissors thing here. Friendly beats devious, devious beats aggressive, de and aggressive beats friendly. Okay, that's good to know. Mood is determined by both your opponents and your attitudes. Gotcha. Alright, and there's another tutorial thing. What are these over here? Anticipating the attitude of the opponent is an effective way of getting an advantage. If they're friendly, you can exploit this weakness by being aggressive. If they're devious, you can be the better man or woman by being friendly. And if they're aggressive, you can make them crazy by being devious. That's good to know. Defeat all the opponents to complete the encounter. Okay, so what is this? Changing your attitude to aggressive would change the, the mood to brutal. All crew members gain bloodlust, which gives them speech defense. Or, if we go to devious, we would be tyrannizing them, which would give us arrogance, which is minus speech defense. So we do not want to be devious. We could be aggressive, or we could be continue to be friendly, but we do not want to be devious. Good to know. Let's... Go ahead and move Dolores. That's not close enough to do anything, so that was my bad. So she's going to just stand there for a turn. And he's not close enough to do anything either. All right, we're done. I guess you get to move now. This is terrible. Oh, no. He's being friendly. What a jerk. That increased her mood. She's pleased. But that means nothing. Okay. Well, guess what? I'm going to give you a pleasing punch to the face. Yes. <laughs> That's the perfect way to counter that. We, brutal, you're the killer. Yeah, we're 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 jerks. But we won. It's good to know. Okay, I know how to lead expeditions. Let's go adventure. This is gonna be a long episode. Sorry about that, guys. Hope you're okay with that. Crew starts off with low resolve. Oh. It's because it's our first expedition. If it reaches zero, our adventure is over. Nice to know. We have two resolve and seven supplies. Gotcha. 
So what can we do? We've got a wits challenge here. A tactician, beguiler, or quick thinker might be useful. Isn't Dolores a quick thinker? Yeah, she is. Interesting. Okay, and those all give them perks, too. That's good to know. He's a survivalist, and he's, he's a good cook, apparently, and he's got etiquette with his diplomat skills. Mischief and stealing for Harry. Okay. There's status to be gained at these two places, though. Let's do the wits challenge. Let's actually do something that... Okay, sometimes your crew finds opportunities to promote themselves shamelessly in the eye of the locals to gain status. However, say something offensive or make the wrong move and no one will like you. Well, our best person when it comes to that would be Charles. We only get 40% chance. Um, we could be modest and nice, which would give us one campaign token, but come on, we gotta take a chance, right? Okay, so Charles will get 15%. Okay, so there's all, all the percentages broken down. But let's try it. We're gonna spin the spin the wheel. Oh God, no! That was so close. Oops, he spoke ungracefully about the savages that have to be dealt with. Well, we just made them mad, but that doesn't mean anything. Apparently, there's research here, status to be gained here, and treasure. And there might be an encounter. Okay, let's go. Let's go straight here. I don't know if we have enough supplies to go far, so I'm just gonna kind of be careful. There's a note scribbled on a wooden slab. Harry picks it up. Take a closer look. The meaning seems to be cryptic. We don't understand the writing. While you're investigating it, a group of mean locals pass by. They clearly don't like you being around. What are you doing on our island? You must be here to steal our puffins. <laughs> Better get away. <laughs> oh no, we might want the puffins. They're annoying, but their local knowledge might be useful in deciphering this. We can either defend ourselves or we could avoid... Well, let's defend ourselves. It's a rank one encounter. I think we can take that on. All right, never hurts to simply talk things out. We might... Ooh, they have giant hammers. Friendly. By resolving this encounter with this, uh, nothing happened. Okay, so... What we want to look at, then, is this little token. So if we can if we do this deviously, we get an encounter token, which gives us bonuses at the end. That's good to know. So that's probably what we'll have to do. Let's do that. We're not... They are being devious as well. Okay, okay. Good to know. So we could start by being friendly. Ooh. These have pluses. I think that... I hope that means they're healing, but I don't know. Oh, I can't get Dolores over there. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by being friendly. I'm going to be super friendly on your face. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm the friendliest guy around. Yeah, you are so impressed. You can't even believe how friendly I am. Now we have super speech defense with... With them being devious is going to help me out a lot. Uh, let's be super friendly on him. Yeah, you must love me because I'm amazing. He doesn't wish to stop us now and he walks away. That is amazing. Okay. And can you... Ooh, well, actually your terrify would be a little bit stronger. Yeah, let's have you terrify him. Yeah, going to knock you out. You are going down, buddy. All right, we need two more devious tokens, and we can turn the whole thing devious. That might work out, because I think that'll give us a better bonus in the end. It'll give us that encounter token. Whoa! He's going to knife us with his hammer. That's dangerous. My goodness. We're getting terrified from this. Yeah, that is a healing spot. I like that very much. Thank you very much. One more devious right here. Yeah! You are so scared, he is absolutely terrified. All right, that, that defensive bonus was great. Okay, we are now in a tense mood because we're all devious. Who will land the first blow? Neither of us, but our friendly abilities have extra power. I think I can beat him with one friendly attack. Check out how amazing I am. I won so many medals. Yes, we got two friendly points for that, but it's still a devious encounter. We got three encounter tokens. <laughs> well, Dolores wanted a good fight, but... Oh, we actually got a bonus for that. She got five grit and two speech power. Cool. Once they figure out you're simply better, they stop. They respect you and stop being so annoying. Ahem. Sorry we were such tools just now. Good thing that you knocked some sense into us. We're just very protective of our puffins. Please allow us to help you with that cryptic, cryptic slab. Very sensible. That is the most sensible thing. We look at it together, and the men you just won over share their knowledge of the local dialects until we decipher the text. Awesome. Harry thinks that it reads that somewhere farther away from here, there's probably... Ooh, I get to make a choice. An old bracelet, a Viking brooch, a peculiar gemstone, or a very special amulet. 
I like the sound of a very special amulet. And there it is, apparently. I think it just appeared down there. Now you know where to look. All that remains is to go there. Nice. Okay. I think... Okay. Yeah, there's here, here, and here. That would take three. I think I can go one, two, three, four, five. And that'll take all of my supplies. Let's do that. Plus, there's something here. Crew arrives in an open theater. There are some villager villagers here. Are going to perform a piece about the Vikings... Director approaches you. One of our actors is sick, and the stand-in is not very talented. Maybe it would be fun if one of you would play the Viking Jarl. It'd be great for people to see a new face. This could be Charles' big break. He insists on doing the piece. Well then, Charles, I guess I don't have a choice. Although if you do it well, we get a lot of campaign for this. And he gets additional speech for this expedition. Come on, Charles. You're awesome. You're the best actor ever. Yes! Oh yeah, he seems to be an accomplished actor. No lines were fumbled. Part of the Viking chieftain is portrayed with conviction. He's a better actor than I am, apparently. I can't even read my lines on the screen. It also gives Charles a boost to his speech for this expedition. They're bedazzled and now clamoring for autographs. Look at all that campaign. Sweet. All right, let's move down here. Cultural, ooh, a cultural challenge. We don't have a, we don't have an archaeologist, but we have a diplomat. Fabulous. An encounter with an. A wealthy Icelandic trader. You engage in an intelligent debate about, at his mansion about the Vikings that once sailed the seas. He's amused and offers you some gold. Ah, oh, we can take some good stuff here. Or Charles can convince him to donate more. That's just extra free stuff. Nice. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you, Charles. Ooh, practical resources. We might get more food here. Normally you wouldn't be so excited about this, but you found an abandoned farm. The, tool, the fields are overgrown with vegetables and even some fruit trees. Three free supplies. Sweetness. Let's go here. This is the place where the cryptic slab was pointing towards. Treasure must be nearby. The crew starts looking until Harry finds a small box. We open it and we find... What? The Leprechaun. An amazingly bright emerald amulet for good fortune. Extra status from secret and a secret. Okay, well, I guess we get a secret token and some extra status for it. A fantastic find. You're going to be the envy of the renowned explorers with such a rarity. Now we got that, we can continue searching for the longboat without feeling like we missed something else. There's an encounter here and there's some gold to be found, so let's go here. We have extra food. Two rude men. And <laughs> look at these wimps. I bet we could wipe them out easily. They're not even worth fighting. These devious gentlemen are not leaving you alone. They're being devious, so we want to be friendly, I think it was? I don't remember. Uh, we get a counter token for beating them deviously as well. Uh, devious means, yes, we want to be friendly. Okay, so we can do this just like last time, I think. Uh, there's a healing spot up there. He's on a healing spot, so I don't want to fight him. I want to make him move towards us. So, let's put Dolores here. Yeah, she, he's going to have to move, I think. The kind of villager that will mimic your behavior. Easy to influence with speech. Oh, yeah, he has no speech defense. Okay. Good to know. I can't see his abilities, unfortunately, but we can still start off friendly. No, wait. Wait, I don't want to start off with that. I want to start off with Charles moving over here. Oh, his is only 75% of his speech. So, Harry's the most... Harry's the best with friendliness, so let's have him friendly the heck out of this guy. Yes! I am amazing! Don't you know it? My goodness, can you believe how awesome I am? And now these two can't really do anything. Well, we could have him do another friendly move. That won't hurt. So, let's do that. Yes, I am so impressive. My skills as a butler are just the most amazing thing, aren't they? He's cheering me on from the side of the battlefield. That's awesome. Oh, no. He's going to sword me with his hammer. That's terrible. What am I ever going to do about that? I know. I'm going to scare the bejesus out of him. Let me tell you about my hand. Oh, he's very confused about all the mixed signals. And he just leaves the battlefield. He just stands over there like, I don't even I don't even know. I don't even know what's happening right now. Okay, we can't do anything, so let's just get on the healing spot here. And we're going to hold off. We need one more point to change the attitude to Devious. Uh-oh. Oh, he's doing it again. At least it's not affecting his mood. He's cranky. But he's not scared or anything. So, get you again. I throw my glove on the floor. I know it's so terrifying. It's just an amazing display of just 
terrible, terrible, terrifying things. All right. Things are tense. Who's going to land the first blow? Absolutely no one. Because Harry is going to stand here and make fun of you. Yeah, he's so enraged, he goes crazy. Devious victory. Get some more tokens. And more grit and speech power. Okay. Ha! You gave them a dose of their own medicine. That makes two suckers that will have nightmares of Charles' destructive words. Oh, yeah. Give us some collect tokens. Okay. That's unexplored. We have no idea what's here. So we'll go boom, 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 and we are good. Yeah! Well done! Found the hidden board of this expedition. Or hidden horde, sorry. On every expedition, there's a hidden horde. On these occasions, fate smiles. Oh, we can get we get a free thing. We'll get the secret. Why not? And I think we can level up now. Can we level up right in the middle? Yeah, we can. Okay, so we can get the Rogue Bluffing perk or the Beguiler Storytelling perk. Ooh. Let's get the ability to bluff. I want him to be like the best rogue ever. So if we do that, and he also gets an ability, Piercing Shot. Affects enemies within target line, goes about four tiles, but you gotta point it. Okay. Cannot be used when standing next to an enemy. Gains power while off cooldown. So, that's really nice. That's awesome if we wait for it and charge it up. Okay. I like that. Unlock that perk. He is now the best rogue. She is going to become Athlete Tenacious or a Quick Thinker Unpredictable. Hmm. Let's make her Unpredictable. I like that idea a little bit more. These do give her different upgrades. This one gives her more grit. Oh, that's a chance to just ev straight up evade. This one will make her stronger. Uh, let's let's go with Quick Thinker Unpredictable anyway. And she also gains Primal Roar. Becomes terrified if they're in a negative mood. Gives an increase of 20% speech per surrounding enemy. Okay, so it hits everyone around her? or I think that's how it works. Plus speech power if she is enraged or confident. And it has increased aggro. Okay. That's cool to know. Interesting ability. And Charles! Charles, you can either become a diplomat with customs or a survivalist with tracking. Hmm, that will give him a lot of grit. And upgrading this will give him more speech. Let's give him more speech ability. And he can do a group insult. And it is a point, about three tiles. It can enrage them. It affects the enemies in a cone. Greatly increases their aggro. And it debuffs them with minus 15 armor and speech defense. Holy crap, this is good. And it gains power while off cooldown. That is amazing. That sound... It, it's just me, or is that amazing? Anyway, we gotta find a place to set up camp and rest. Your mixed crew keeps us all busy by doing all the things they love. Charles looks around curiously while Dolores writes in a little notebook. Their crew has well-balanced skills and interests. A balanced bunch. Gives us campaign and study. Okay, sounds good to me. At night, everyone sits around the campfire. They tell all kinds of stories. The stories were interesting and exciting, but the best story was... Let's let's say it was told by by Harry. Why not? Harry told a scary story about a group of teen explorers stuck in a Scottish Highlands moor. The crew is absolutely terrified, and he's the crew's storyteller, apparently. They're remarkably good at night of sleep. They are ready to continue. Okay. Did he? Did I actually just give him the storyteller? Yeah, I, that's the one that I just decided not to upgrade with. That was perfect. That could not have gone better. Let's go get that ship. The Viking boat must be nearby. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end. You can come back to this place when you wish to continue later. No, we are ready. Onwards! We searched the hills and dales thoroughly until we spotted in the distance an intact Viking boat. Just sitting there, right in the middle. I guess. It will surely skyrocket your reputation at the renowned Explorer Society. Oh no, we're stopped by a familiar face, the French explorer Revelu. Number one in the most promising explorer's rankings. What a jerk! Oh, he's laughing at us, too. Thank you, amateur. How very lucky you are to find this Viking boat just after me. Under Rule 24B of the Explorer Mandate, fellow explorers should help each other out. And I really need this treasure to affirm my number one position. Your help will not be forgotten. Well, maybe. This is our treasure, bub. <laughs> most unfortunate. Maybe you should talk to my most intelligent and diplomatic scientist, Lady Cassandra Shafiq. I'm positive that she'll handle this situation with utmost respect. While I take the vessel. Hey, wait a minute. Before Harry can stop Revelu, his crew scientist Cassandra steps forward. Hello, fellow renowned explorers. Why is it such a hurry, no? Let's discuss this matter at an easy, civilized pace, yes? Oh, we got a rank 2 encounter. 
Confident characters deal more damage with attack abilities. Okay, that's good to know. They have thugs. Okay. Okay, friendly. If we do this friendly, Cassandra is pleased with your diplomatic approach. Deviously, she appreciates that you don't resort to violence, or aggressively, she thinks we're a brute. Well, right now, you're keeping us from getting the treasure that we want, so we ca I kind of feel like kicking your butt. And it would give us an, a big advantage. Okay, we can block them off here and create a choke point. There's a couple of healing points down here. Mindless followers of, of Rivalu. Cassandra is a scientist. She's friendly and tries to win you over with diplomacy, but sometimes leaves, her, leaves herself open for attacks. Well, we have a good crew when it comes to attacking. Okay, her her speech power is high, but she has no armor. We can we can do this. We can do this. Well, these guys have no defenses at all. So here's what I'm going to do. Charles... Well, wait, who has better armor? Charles is more well-rounded with his armor, so whichever way they go, he can actually do decently. So Charles is going to start with a punch to his face. Well, bam! Down you go, you thug! Alright, brute. Brutal. Where are the killers? But we get speech defense out of this, so this works out great. I'm gonna shoot you in the face! Excellent. Got a couple of them down, and then you're gonna hold up right here. Harry's perfectly protected in this fashion. So this will work out. We might switch over to friendliness, but I'm not sure on that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're trying to be friendly. Okay, that put her in a pleasant mood, but it didn't affect her negatively. If they all attack her, this will be great. In fact, we might be able to take advantage of this. So, he can impress her. And make her impressed, obviously. Okay, they just have impressed. So let's try that. Harry is going to start by impressing her. <laughs> Booyah! She gained a little bit of her health back, and now she's impressed, which... Oh, that's minus speech defense. Well, that doesn't help me at all! Ah, crud. Well, I screwed that up. That's okay. She can still knock the crud out of them. Charles can now move. So he's going to go here, I think. He has very, very strong defenses. And let's go ahead and actually just terrify him. I think this will take him out, too. Oh, yeah. That mobster is absolutely terrified of us. After all, we only killed two of them. <laughs> Three of them, sorry. Oh, she has range. Okay, that impressed him. That Oh, that's going to reduce his speech defense. That's okay. Dolores, I think she can change his mood, though. Yes, she can change it to confident. Let's do that. That'll give him more attack power. Which could be good. Let's move him forward. Impress does not do much. Terrify does more. Punch does the most. Let us... Let's start with... Hmm. Let's start with punching her, yeah. Punch her in the face. This is how real diplomats fight. <laughs> okay. I think he gained power. If I'm correct in thinking this, I can move Harry here and use his piercing shot. Oh, that is sweet. Booyah! Yeah! Alright. That's everyone's moves. Oh, she might attack Harry. Oh, she has a... Ooh! That's not good. What did that do to our mood? I don't know what that mood is off the top of my head. Gotta check. This is excited. Increasing speech power by 20... Oh, you are gonna wish you didn't do that. Okay, I, I can take advantage of this. Gonna take you out! Yeah! Get out of here. One more terrify should actually change the, the mood to devious. You are to be scared of me! Yeah, she's terrified, and I changed it to tyrannizing. We're tyrants! But we beat her by not resorting to too much violence. <laughs> Did you see their faces? It was priceless. Two encounter tokens. That went well. Cassandra is livid. Well, who do you think you are? Well, at least you didn't resort to violence. No, I'll give you this treasure map for your manners. And now if you'll excuse me, she leaves to follow Rivalu, who's already disappeared with the Viking. How the hell did he take an entire ship in the length of that battle? What the heck? Well, we do get a campaign point with the map. Its meaning is pretty cryptic, which is why it's called a cryptic treasure map, I suppose. Pass around, investigating it. it states that there are interpretations of the map. There is a treasure buried deep underground. It points to a difficult-to-reach area or a landmark on the map that locals might recognize. 
Well, let's see. Eh? It is deep underground. Time to work hard and dig up the underground treasure. Sure enough, locals who started watching the industrious crew are glad to point out where some work could still be done. We get some respect and some coin from the Endeavor, and we get a new treasure. Boom! Ooh! The Ulfbrett's, Ulfbrett's sword. Rusty as hell, but uh, very rare Viking sword of elite qual... Okay, well, if you say so. A lot of renown for that and insight. And it gives us an extra encounter token if we're aggressive. Cool! I like that. And we that concludes our expedition on a high note. It's clear that if we want to be the most renowned explorer, though, we have to beat Ravaleur. Now it's personal. Back to London. Highlands has been explored. We, uh, we did that deviously. Got a couple of treasures. 150 renown. And... 93 status, oh, d d never mind, a whole bunch of status, holy cow. Some research, some gold, and two resolve. I think we already had that. That just means we didn't lose any, I think. Anyway, let's continue. Exotic location uncovered in the Icelandic Isles by promising explorer Harry Walker. Explorer Society board members are excited at the progress of this classy crook. Oh yeah. Now we have to get the renown to beat... Matthew Ravelu, most renowned explorer with 2,000. Well, at least we're a tenth of the way there. We got a lot of people to go past, but we can do it. A magnificent job. The Board of Renowned Explorers International Society is impressed by your exploration skills in the Highlands. For this achievement, Chairman Pickerton gives us an upgrade to our airship, which will allow us to carry more supplies. Awesome. Nice. We can now we gain three more supply capacity. That's good. And we get some renown and some insight. I don't know what that insight is, but we'll find out later. In fact, we'll probably find out next time. Pickerton tells you, We're pleased that you're aiming to become the number one explorer. However, I wonder if you can beat the already successful Ravelu. I'm tired of hearing that name. We hope that you'll uh, uncover many secrets in your endeavors. The society has many leads as to where secrets may lie in wait. You can do four more expeditions before the most renowned explorer is selected. So make them count. Okay. We to complete expeditions to get new expeditions. Gather our thoughts to determine our course of action. We can spend research to unlock technologies. Insight for other resources in a city. Spend status to gain an entourage. Gold in shops. And we go on more expeditions until we beat that French clown Revolu. And now, that seems to be all we need to do to become the world's most renowned explorer. Time to prepare for your next adventure. And then there's a reference guide. Okay, are we done? Can we? Yes, we can go. Wow, that was a big first adventure. This game seems really cool, in my opinion. I would like to play more of it. Hey, if you'd like to join me, let me know. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you want to see some more of Renowned Explorers. Until then, folks, my name is Fat. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next time.